All right, the classic diagnosis in thyroid cytopathology is looking for papillary thyroid carcinoma. A sample of a typical PTC is very cellular, and from low power on this dip quick slide, you can see a lot of material, and you can see that there's a vaguely papillary arrangement. On higher power, the nuclei are enlarged and somewhat elongated, and a vaguely papillary arrangement can still be appreciated the true fibrovascular cores are not always evident. Watch out for pseudo-pseudo inclusion on air-dried smears. Red blood cells can sometimes get stuck on top of nuclei and create pseudo-pseudo inclusions. Although I would say this one looks pretty real. We'll talk more about that in a moment. On alcohol fix smears, we can see the nuclear detail much better and the nuclear features are much more reliable, such as here where we see elongated nuclei with longitudinal grooves that have often been described as being like coffee beans. And here are the famous pseudo-inclusions. What makes something a real pseudo-inclusion? They should have contents that are the same color as the cytoplasm and a thin rim of nuclear membrane. After all, these are really just invaginations of nuclear membrane, reflecting the increased nuclear contour abnormalities seen in PTC. On liquid-based preparations, you may see also a papillary arrangement with fibrovascular cores, and the nuclear features may be a little bit more difficult to appreciate with a vague convolution of the nuclei. Usually, the powdery chromatin of PTC is what catches my eye on a liquid-based preparation. You can see that the cells are powdery and the nuclear contours, while still evident, such as these little grooves, are much more subtle sometimes on these LVPs. In the background, you may have cystic change and you may have giant cells as well, although this is not a feature specific for PTC.